Hey Jonesy Babes and Anonymous Jonesy Babes and my Halloween Jonesy Babes. Listen, let me come and talk to you again. So I was on TikTok, right? And I went down the rabbit hole of this lady meeting up with this guy from jail. Okay. Now how I fell down the rabbit hole because somebody was like, did y'all hear that story about that lady going to pick up that guy from jail? And I was like, uh-uh, who is this? I'm scrolling and scrolling, following links and stuff, names and everything. And I found her. Let me tell you something. Honey, that story was so funny. So, in her state, a newspaper comes out maybe every other month, I think. And it has, like, the inmate's picture in there. And you could be a pen pal to the inmate. So, I guess she, um, you know started talking to one of the guys in there and he was getting out soon so when he was getting out she waited for him she picked him up honey she waited for him at the gates and i was like oh my god like because you just don't know how things are gonna go so she said she was nervous and stuff but she came back and told us that honey she had a time she had a time. She said he knocked her boots for six hours. Somebody rocking, knocking on boots. Baby, she was getting blown away. Okay, she was getting it in. He was tearing up those guts, honey. <laughs> he was giving it to her. And she was just telling the story how he had her off the bed. I mean, she was, I mean, she was giving details, okay? D tails and i'm sitting there listening and i'm just eating it up i'm like oh my god because i be in the clouds looking down on the videos so i was like oh my goodness so i kept watching the video but i saw something strange in her video and it was on the ceiling so i'm like what is it on the ceiling so when i look closely child it was her socks so i was like oh so he had those legs up on the ceiling, honey. <laughs> he had those legs up on the ceiling, baby, and knocked her out of her socks. I was like, ooh, ooh wee. Honey, she was giving details. And I guess she was she loved it, honey. She better be careful and don't get hooked, honey, because he fresh out and he's exploring this world. You can't lock somebody down because you had a time. So, but I guess she just wanted that, you know, she didn't want no relationship or no strings attached. She just wanted to get her boots knocked. Oh my God. You guys got to listen to that story. It was hilarious. It was funny. But you know, some people were telling her she needed to be careful. And, and I, I guess she's, she, she know what she's doing, but I do want her to be careful, you know, cause you just never know. People out here are crazy. And when they, when they are fresh out of the box, honey, they be so happy. Child, you just don't know. You just don't know. You just don't know. But yeah, child. So that was going on. The jail situation was going on. And then some girl named Nene Brooks, right? Honey, the whole Chicago was looking for her because they said she backdoored this guy named Little Schoon. Little Schoon is a rapper in Chicago. So they said that she set him up and honey, she had to leave town. She had to leave Chicago because they was on her. They was on her head. I mean, people on TikTok was talking about it, on Facebook, on Twitter. They was looking for her. And I think she got a price on her head right now. But another story came out about this girl named Journey saying that Journey and Nene set him up. Ciao. I was like, I had to give that story a break because, honey, it was getting on my nerve. I said, let me let me leave this one to the side for now because I was interested more in this jail hookup than the um, Nene Brooks. But they should just let the authorities handle it. If she backdoor that guy, tell the police, let the police handle it. Why would you want to try to, you know, take somebody out? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. You got to think sometimes. But hey. This generation is totally different, baby. This is a different generation these days. But um, so yeah, so that's what happened. So if I find out some more jail stories, honey, I would 
make sure I come and tell you guys because that's where I've been at. I've been over there minding everybody else's business instead of my own. So, and another thing, I don't know what it is. I've been kind of sad lately. You know, my grandmother, she been on my mind. My mom been on my mind and my brother been on my mind. And it's like, I just, I don't know. It's like, I can't shake this feeling. You know, some days I'm okay and some days I'm not okay. And then with the Nesto messages and stuff, I'll get back to that. I needed a break from that. I really did. I, I needed a break from that. Because it was just like, ugh. These two are something else. They really are. They are something else. But anyway, so, um, yeah, so that's all I want to talk to you guys about, you know, was that. And, um, I'll be checking back in this week, okay? So, hopefully tomorrow I'll put out some more videos of the messages and everything. And some of you that reached out asked me, well, okay, I'm good. I'm all right. Thanks for reaching out. I am okay. Sometimes I get like this where I just fall back a little bit because I got stuff on my mind. You know, because I always want to come to you guys happy. I don't want to come to you guys sad. You know what I'm saying? Because this is my happy place. And I don't want to, you know, bring sadness in my happy spot. So, but I had to let you know what was going on though. But anyway, honey, I'll talk to you later. If I got any more gossip, you know, I'm going to share it with you guys. Later, boo.